Do you want to do it? Muhammad Ali and Sonny Barger, the president of Hell's Angels. This is 1095. Before that, the office. Um, you know, you're in the office both seasons. I remember chatting to you about that as well. How did that come about? You know, how did you end up getting in that? I know, I know, I remember you were saying the budgets were like, you know, next to nothing for that first series. It was a gamble. No one really knew where it was going to go. How did you land that gig? What were you expecting? Well, and how, how different was it to what you're expecting once the first series yeah. came out? So the thing about the office is, um, as an actor, when you do an audition, um, a lot of the time you get quite annoyed. And the reason you get quite annoyed is because it can just turn into a line learning exercise. You don't always get a lot of notice and you have to go in and you, you have to sort of, you know, if, you, if you've done the work, you remember the script and you learn your lines and you do it in front of the casting director and you hope that you'll achieve the, the getting the part. Um, but for a lot of actors, you know, it's, you don't really know, you get sent a scene, so you don't really know the character. You don't really know anyone in the room. So it's very kind of nerve wracking. It's very impersonal. And, you know, probably to be honest, they could do it a lot better. Um, and with The Office, what was brilliant about the audition, and this is why it's one of my favorite jobs, obviously for obvious reasons, but one of the reasons it's my favorite yeah. audition of all time is because there was no script. And what Ricky and Steve said was, come in character, don't break character, um, be Lee, and um, we'll let you know when it's finished, we can have a chat after that. So I did, I went in in character. There was, and, and so for an actor, that's brilliant because you're actually doing mm. what you've trained to do. You're, you're creating as you're going, you're improvising, you know, as a musician, you riff, you know, this is exactly what you want to do. And um, I remember, uh, I'm a bit of a petrol head and I remember talking and they were sort of, they were, we had this conversation, it was all going quite well. And I was doing Lee, you know, just as, as you've seen him. And, um, and then Ricky said, uh, so what are you doing after this? And I was like, I, I don't know, mate. Just um, I'll go look at a car, I'm buying a new car. And I was like, all right. So I reeled off this, I think it was like a, uh, I'm looking at the Vauxhall Cavalier SRI. You know, it's got nice stock twin cams, and a, you know, K and air cool. It was quite cool. And uh, he started laughing. And I just remember turning around and I was in it. I was in the moment. It was brilliant. And just went, what are you laughing at me? What? Because you're just a rich bloke who's just sitting behind a desk. And we ended up having a... <laughs> You know, I sort of was quite threatening towards him. And basically, we had this kind of row. or well, not a row. I was just quite aggressive towards him and uh, said he was, you know, taking a piss and, you know, watching mouth and all this sort of stuff. And then he kind of like, OK, well, that's lovely. Really good to meet you. And uh, and then he sort of stopped the interview and he went, OK, good. And I said, is that it? And he was like, yeah, that, that's it. You can go now. And I was like, oh, God. Hi, thanks very much. I'm Joel, you know, and met him. It's like, oh, big side. Really. So <laughs> I think that I'm sure that's what got me the gig was just sort of like, you know, that like I basically threatened Ricky Gervais. Um, and it was great. And then, yeah, from that, you know, got the job. And I think one of the most amazing things about that job was, as you say, when we all got together, I remember uh, the read through for um, the first se season. And, you know, we were in like some BBC basement room, you know, no windows. There was an odd packet of biscuits and some cold tea if you if you if you wanted it. And we all sat around the table and, you know, read throughs are a real indication whether or not something's good, whether it's a drama or whatever. And I remember as we started reading, you could see people starting to look up. And when people look up, it's because it's good news. And they start to, and you connect with mm. each other and you start looking at eye contact. And people started laughing and then people just started laughing more and more and more. Brilliant. Hell, we were going around going, you know what? This is special. And when we did it, no one knew what they were doing. Everyone was, um, you know, Ricky and Steve, they, they'd just been given the reins. They were like, yeah, go and make this program. It, I don't know. You know, it was a bit like, I don't know whether it'd be any good. It was done in a, a disused office. So there was one lighting set up. There was one, you know, um, it was all the cameras on the shoulder. So it was quite, it was quite organic. It was quite, you know, good. And they were really, really, really good at letting us improvise. I mean, I remember, you know, I didn't have that many lines, but I remember one scene where I had a lot, some lines and I think it's a scene when I come in and I push Martin Freeman up against the um, cupboard in, in the office. And I had a load of lines. I said to Ricky, do you mind if I just try this? And he was like, no, cool. You just do what you want. And of course that stayed in. I was like, yeah, that, you know, that's, that's really mm. sort of collaborative. Um, so that was great. And and the reason I said about the the BBC sort of room and the the um, the cold tea is because I always remember doing the read through for season two, 
and it literally was like hello welcome to the bbc boardroom uh you'll have waitress staff you'll have waiters waitresses you know there's there's uh, sandwiches and whatever you need just ring this bell kind of thing so i think from that point we knew that the series had been a bit of a hit but yeah it was really really good to yeah see. right Uh, to our Muhammad Ali and Sonny Barger, the president of Hells Angels. This is 1095.